Tonight, we're seeing the effects of almost 48 hours of nonstop rain. Flooding, damaging winds, and this atmospheric river isn't over yet. As we look live out over the Bay Area, some spots seeing more rain than others tonight. The storm is leaving a huge mess all over the Bay Area. It will likely take a few days to clean up all the downed trees and other debris. This is new video from photojournalist Jim Flanagan in San Jose this evening. The southbound connector ramp from 280 to Guadalupe Parkway is totally Totally flooded, not expected to reopen until tomorrow afternoon. Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagen has a closer look at the conditions and what to expect moving into tomorrow. We are going to get a break from the rain, but Good. it continues to fall right now. And as it continues to fall, flooding has been a big problem throughout the day. We've got some more video for you. This is from along the peninsula. Highway 92 was covered in water, forcing emergency crews to rescue at least one driver. And some more video. This was along. This was the scene along Highway 1 in Pescadero earlier tonight. Big old tree coming down and blocking the road. In fact, we've had dozens of wind and flooding reports. Let's switch over to High Def Doppler. Each one of these icons on the map is a separate wind damage, flooding report, or a debris flow report, especially in the Santa Cruz Mountains. You can see them more concentrated there, but it's been widespread across the Bay Area. Here's the live radar view at the moment. The heaviest rain is falling right around the Central Bay, becoming a little bit lighter in the North Bay. Santa Rosa seeing a little break in the action, but still some heavier rain falling from Napa to the east. That's about to cross over into Solano County. Here is that pocket of heavier rain still falling over San Francisco and Oakland, pressing over the Oakland Hills and into the Tri-Valley. Now farther to the south, the rain has been coming down in the Santa Cruz Mountains and continues to do so, but enough of that rain now climbing over the Santa Cruz Mountains, making its way into the Santa Clara Valley that you're going to add up some more rain in San Jose over the next several hours. But the back edge of the steady rain is now in view. It's just going to take a while for it to make its way across the entire Bay Area. Those rain chances are gradually going to diminish as we head through tonight into early tomorrow morning. I still count on wet roads and maybe some standing water on the sides of those roads for the morning commute. We'll take a look at how much rain we expect with the next round of showers moving in, in just a few minutes. All right, Paul, we'll see you then. Now, some roads have turned into lakes in Sonoma County tonight. KPI X5's Andrea Nakano and photojournalist Marco Vargas have been out braving the elements all night long. I'm here at Highway 121 where it meets 12 and this has been closed most of the night. Caltrans had hoped to open this back up around 8 o'clock, but as you can see at this hour, it still remains closed. This is a common trouble spot right near Sonoma Creek and tonight the storm has created another lake on the roadway. Caltrans crews work to clear the water off the roadways. This time of year when the rain really comes in, it's like a lake over there. You can't even get through it. But this portion of Highway 121 remained closed for much of the night. I mean, I live over there on Burndale, and the fact that this uh, the road keeps getting blocked off the last couple of days has been really irritating. As of Monday afternoon... Many areas of the North Bay received more than two inches of rain, with Mount Tam seeing roughly 10 inches. Good news for the drought. We need it desperately, so this is, this is grin and bear, and, you know, it's a blessing, really. I mean, we just have to deal with the weather a little bit. Along with the rain, strong wind gusts shut off power to nearly 30,000 customers in Northern California. Trees crashed onto cars as the second atmospheric river this year slammed the Bay Area. Despite the damage and the headaches on the road, people are glad to see this wet weather. I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. Residents are prepared for this road to remain closed off and on as more storms are expected in the coming week. In Sonoma, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.